Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Dollar Tree Day. Um, it's not a huge Dollar Tree haul, but I did pick up quite a few uh, cute little things and some things that I needed here. Um, I also stopped at the $1 zone on the way home, and I figured I would show you guys what I picked up there. Now, I know that store is not, you know, all over the country, so it's usually just, I think it's mainly in the... Um, eastern states, um, but hopefully they'll get more in the future because they have a lot of cute little things in there too. But it's pretty much like a dollar store, but it, they have this year started raising their prices too. There, I found some items that were like two dollars, dollar seventy something, which is kind of sad, but you know, especially for a, a store called the one dollar zone. But anyway, I did find a, a few cute things and I'll throw those on at the end for anybody who wants to check those out. So I did pick up another pack of my sponges. You know, nothing exciting here. Um, these are a set of two. I love these sponges out in my kitchen. They're wonderful. They don't last super long, but you really don't want sponges to last too long anyway because they get kind of icky. And then I picked up another pack of the 10 pack of the um, dishwasher pods. And I love these. They work great. I never had a problem with anything, you know, not coming out clean. And then I picked up another bag of these uh, Wise Potato Chips for my husband. He loves this kind, and like I said before, we can't find these in our local grocery store anymore. I don't know why they stopped carrying them, but they've been around forever. And this is a 4.75 ounce bag. And then I got myself some of the Wise Cheese... Oops! They're getting away. Wise Cheese Doodles, and these are... 5.5 ounce bag as well, and I love to sit and munch on these. And for some reason, I love to eat these with a tuna fish sandwich. I don't know. Then I grabbed one of these little mops, which I find really weird now that they're selling the mop heads and the mop handles and all the different uh, mop things separately, but I guess, you know, if you want different kinds of attachments on there, it's great. But I do want to try, I have no gnomes in my house, and I'm going to try to make one. I've never made one before, but that is why I got that one. And then I picked up another pack of the hot chocolate packets. And you get six in here, with the Swiss Miss with the marshmallows. And i got to remember next time to get some without marshmallows, because I keep forgetting my husband hates the marshmallows. And then I grabbed a few bags of these Andy's candies. I like to stick these in, you know, some friend mail from around the holidays. You don't have to worry about them melting now because it's so hot outside. Um, it's so hot outside. It's not so hot outside anymore. Um, but when, they, when it's hot out, I don't like to send these is what I'm trying to say. But they're cute just to stick in a little envelope and send along with a little card or something. Then I found these cute, these I haven't seen before in my Dollar Tree, and I thought these were really pretty, these little candle holders. And they have like little glittered lines on here and little red gemstones. And they had them in green too, but I didn't care for the green so much. But I thought this was really pretty, so I picked up one of those. And then I did pick up this because I want to do my... Um, soap bottle that I got too, a soap dispenser, and I want to decorate it for Christmas. And then I found this white uh, holder for your toothbrushes and your toothpaste. So I thought this would be great to make a matching little set for the bathroom for the holidays. And i got to get to this stuff soon. i really got to start hammering out these crafts next week because it's just been so busy and uh, so many crafts so little time like everybody says. And I picked up two of these little jars in the crafter square section. I thought they would be cute to decorate for the holidays. Any holiday. I may hang on to these till Easter too because they're really nice size. But I got two of those. And then I picked up a pack of these little chalkboard tag. <clears throat> these are the ones that are on the clothes pins. I thought that would be really cute to decorate these up with something. And I don't know why I passed on them before when I was there. And then also in the Crafter Square section, I went to the bigger Dollar Tree that I like, and it's the only one around here that has the Crafter Square section, you know, that has the whole aisle just for crafting. 
and they had these, and I thought these were great. These are solid, well, not solid wood, but they're like pressed wood together. But look how thick these are. These are really nice. So I grabbed two of the stars, and I wanted two of these too, but of course there was only one of these of the circles, and it's a really nice size, and this is going to be really fun to do something with. And then they had these in this style, and these are the real thick ones again. So I got two of them, and then I, these aren't as thick. Oops. Falling over. But I picked up two of these little signs. I thought they would be cute to do something with. And these are a nice size too. I don't know. Let me get my ruler here. Um, these are about seven and three quarter inches by about four and a quarter inches from top to bottom. So I thought they'd be cute to do something with. And I like that they already have the hangers attached to them. And they are attached with some jute string. So I thought that was cool. And then I picked up this little candle holder. Well, it's actually a candle, but I'm going to try to warm this up and take the candle out because I can't burn candles, as you guys know, with my birds and things. But this, I thought this would be cute to put a little tea light in. It has little stockings on it. I don't know if it doesn't really have much of a scent to it. I don't know if it really even has a scent. Uh, it doesn't say. But anyway, it really does not have much of a scent to it, no matter what it is. But I thought the stockings were really cute. And then I picked up another pack of these. I wish I would have looked at these before I bought my other um, self-adhesive tag, tags for Christmas. Because these were, I just for some reason just assumed that these were really tiny. And they're not. These are a great size. And the ones that I got in the other big sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree, they're very, very small. So I was looking for some bigger ones. And these are re they're really nice too. So I grabbed me a pack of these. That should get me through. I really did like the prints on the other ones, but like I said, they're so tiny. You can't really write on them. And let's see. Then I picked up these. They had these when we walked in. Now, i got to warn anybody. I'll tell you when I'm going to turn them on because there was another time I turned something on that had a flashing light in it that really disturbed a few people. So I will let you know when I'm going to turn this on. But these are really cute. They're a nice size. They're the silver and then, or white, and then they have these big silver chunks of glitter. And then up here is a little switch that turns it on and off, which I don't even know if I want to use the light in it. I just thought these were so pretty for um, a project I want to do. But, um, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to turn So I'm going to turn this on, and I'll let you know when I shut it off. So anybody that's sensitive to this light, just close your eyes now, and I'll let you know when it's safe. All right, here we go. But it's real pretty, but it does get crazy, crazy blinking. And you'll see in a second. But they're very pretty. Okay, guys, I shut it off. It's off. Um, they're very pretty, and I want to do something with them. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I did find the trees. I grabbed four more of these so I can make another one of my um, tabletop trees that I did a video on the other day. And it came out really great using four of the Christmas trees. It made it nice and full. So I was happy to see, because they were out of these for a while, but they had um, they had a couple more big cases of these yesterday. <coughs> yes, that's right. I travel to Dollar Trees often to make sure they have this stuff. But that came from my, these actually came from my small Dollar Tree over here, the uh, trees. And they did have them at the one I was at today too, but I didn't need any more, so I just got the four. And they only had just a very few of the white ones at the larger Dollar Tree. Alright, and then I picked up these. I got, um, these are the little candle holders, and I'm so happy when they actually have the three sizes. And so I love doing little decorating things. You can set them up like that, or you can use them individually, but I usually like to do something like this with them to decorate with with the centerpiece. It just looks so pretty with the three different sizes. Now my small Dollar Tree, when I was there, when was I, I was there yesterday at the small Dollar Tree by me. They did not have any of these at all, but the larger Dollar Tree had all of them. And let's see, what else did I get here? 
I grabbed another one of these um, micro duster pads. I like using these for the snow, and you can use these for like a Santa beard, or you could actually use these to dust mop. Um, <laughs> but I always see different things when I look at them. And then I picked up another one of the soft microfiber cloths. I just love these. These are so soft to do things with. And I actually think I'm going to use this on a pillow because they're getting harder to find now. This was the only one they had left at either of the Dollar Trees I was at yesterday. So hopefully they're going to get these back in because I really, really like these. And let's see. i got to move my bucket here. Oh, I picked this up. I thought this would be so cute to decorate for Christmas. They had this in the section where they have, you know, like the plastic champagne glasses and little bowls and things for parties. And, of course, it was the only one there. Um, so I'm hoping they're going to get more of these in. But it's called a truffle container. Um, so, yeah, I want to decorate this up. And I thought this would make a wonderful little candy dish or something for Christmas. So I really hope they get more of those in because you could do a lot of things with those as far as like centerpieces, anything. Oh, and I picked up these earmuffs they had. These are the kind that you put like behind your neck and up over your ears. And I tried them on and they're actually really nice. I mean, they're not, you can feel the wire in them and everything. But I think that these will work good for the winter. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe those wires in there might get cold when you have them on outside. I don't know, but they fit really great and they stay put. So they're just called earmuffs. But I like the ones that go behind your neck because they're just so much more comfortable. And it doesn't mess up your hair. And then I picked up one of the scarves and I wanted two of these and of course this was the only color left in this color, or the only one left in this color. But I want to actually do that uh, truck pillow thing with that big canvas bag I got, and I want to use this for the back of that. So I got to get on all this stuff. There's so much I want to do, and yeah, hopefully we'll get to it. And the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was this little bucket here. I thought that was cute with the handles on it. I figured I'd decorate this up, and this might be my big centerpiece that I make in here. So we're going to see what we're going to do with this and how I'm going to decorate this guy up. But, and this was the only one there. Of course. Oops. Knocked my stuff down behind me here. All right. Now, for the $1 zone, I found these wooden blocks, which I thought was a great deal because these are expensive. These are like 5 or 6 bucks at Michael's for six of these. And... Um, these are, oh, don't do centimeters on me. Hang on. These are inch squares. So these are a nice size to do things with. And I have a bunch of other different sizes, but I thought for a dollar, they hadn't raised the prices on these yet, thank goodness. Um, I got two packs of those from the $1 zone. And then I also was so happy when they got these back in because my birds love to play with these toys. It's actually um, a cat toy. It's called Three Dumbbell Cat Toys. But my birds love these things. Anything with a bell. So I got another two packs of those. And they sell these in different pet stores and stuff in bird sections. And they're like a couple dollars a piece. So I thought that was a wonderful deal, deal for my birdies. And then I found these cute stickers. They're like a... Um, a real thick puffy sticker. Not puffy, but I don't know what you want to call it. I think they're like a foam sticker, actually. It doesn't say anything on here. But I just thought they were adorable. So let me show you these guys. I definitely... I don't want to open them up because these are so crinkly. It definitely feels like a foam sticker on it. And then I picked up... This, this was the only two uh, patterns that they had. And then the other thing I got was these two boxes of tissues. I thought that one was real cute. I'm going to put these out in my living room on my coffee table. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> and you really got to watch the wording on some of the stuff from the $1 zone. Because they had a bowl out for um, Halloween. And it had a cute little picture on it or something. And it was supposed to say ghostly goodies. But I guess it was printed maybe in China or somewhere, and it said costly cooties. 
<laughs> so you really got to kind of watch in this store because their translation of some of our words are just not very good. But then I got this one here, and I thought that was real pretty too. I like this one. And there's only 50 in here, but I thought those would look pretty out in my living room uh, for the holidays. And then the last, oh no, not the last. I picked up two of these for my grandson because he's constantly breaking his headphones and having to run out and get more, and I thought maybe if these just work semi-good, they were only a dollar. It says they're stereo headphones, um, but I thought maybe these would be good in case of emergency because, you know, you got to have your earbuds and until you can get a better pair. So I hope they'll work at least for a little bit. And this is the last thing I bought. My daughter came down. She went with me to the $1 zone and um, just to get the... Um, garland and stuff. But I got this garland for my tree this year. I needed some new garland and I thought this was really pretty so I picked up four of these. They are, um, I don't even know how long they are. I think they said they were nine feet. I don't know. It doesn't say on here. Oh yes it does. Jeez focus nine feet so that's good so I think four of those will do good for my tree because I had some gold um, garland that's really you know I've used it for years so we're gonna put that on the tree this year so that is it for my hauls for this week everybody I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and if I don't see you guys again uh, happy Thanksgiving and don't forget to go over and check out the Facebook group there are um, over a thousand now members and amazing crafters and so many great pictures for you guys to check out or add some of your own if you want to so I will see you guys all next time have a great day everyone